The grids and channels are easily marked with coloured cones, which give the pupils and teachers clearly recognisable boundaries within which to work. One teacher can effectively control a number of groups and organise a whole class. Okay, call, reach out, call, reach out. Do we allow us to need all the bell? Do we allow us to submit through them, sir? Call for the ball, two hands out to receive. Pass the ball at the target, chest height. Okay, two balls. Call that name before you pass the ball. Make sure you use all of the square. Nice empty piece here. How about using this corner? Yeah. Are you passing that ball carefully? When you're popping the ball, make sure you call a person's name. And pop the left path. Ian. But keep travelling. Make sure there's plenty of distance there for them to catch it properly. Ian. Die, Archie. My mum. Get you. In here. Nobody walking. I want you all jogging constantly. Ian. Make sure those fingers are open. Underneath the ball, I want to see you working in and out of each other, placing that ball down carefully. Bend your knees, go down low, two hands underneath the ball. If you can, try and pick up the ball without slowing down. Then we should go and see our pen out of your squad and we're going to take an and weld the bell. Reese! Sean! Yes! William! Low! When you catch the ball, sprint into space, then slow down and look for somebody to pass to. Extend both hands and call for the ball. Give the passer a target. Let's make a move this way. Good. Good. Should we show the target again? Show the target with the hands. Make sure you're keeping eye contact, you know where the ball's going. Nice clean passing, well done. That's good. Go, go, go! 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 Go, go, Couple of movements in each other. Die on Sean. Yes, sir. Okay. Right, run hard, Jonathan. Good. Fish. Quid on bell, Sawa San Quid on bell. Shot. 
Sit, please, pass. Pass attention. You can only run and score with a ball if you've got it in the first place. Two of the great sights of rugby are the scrum and the line-out. These are where the ball and the game are often won or lost, and you need to keep developing your skills of jumping, catching, passing and throwing to make sure it's your team that comes away with the ball. and scrums will be uncontestable and will have two players on each side. It is very, very important that there should be no pushing in the scrums, only correct support. During Unit 2, the children should revise and refine their ball handling skills and combine these with the principles of attack and defence. Spatial awareness should be developed and used in conjunction with their ability to support the ball carrier while sustaining energetic activity.